I'm Gil Gerard, and I've been asked to make an appearance here because I played Buck Rogers. In medical terms, at 350 pounds, I'm morbidly obese. If I choose to have surgery, it will be performed at the St. Rose Dominican Hospital in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. Dr. Robert Rutledge, a pioneer in laparoscopic bariatric surgery, will perform the operation. Dr. Rutledge developed the mini-gastric bypass procedure and has performed over 3,000 of these operations in the past eight years. Morbid obesity is a special kind of obesity where people are at least 100 pounds above their ideal body weight and is associated with a particularly high rate of death and complications. When it occurs in people, it brings along serious medical illnesses. People have been trying to deal with obesity using kind of the common sense approach of eating less and exercising more. Sadly, the scientific studies of such diet and exercise programs show that about 95 percent of people placed on various diet and exercise programs will fail within one year. Surgeons have been trying different kinds of weight loss surgery for the past 20 to 30 years. And more people are choosing surgery as a means of treating their obesity. Last year almost 150,000 people underwent a bariatric procedure, up more than 600 percent from 10 years ago. But right now, in American medicine and around the world, there's lots of reasonable controversy about what is the best bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery. He's not kidding. Currently, bariatric surgery options include the open Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, anticholic laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, celastic ring vertical gastric bypass, long limb gastric bypass, the gastric band, laparoscopic gastric band, laparoscopic adjustable gastric band, vertical banded gastroplasty, sleeve gastrectomy, not forgetting the biliopancreatic diversion with dual danal switch. If you found just one technique, you could be pretty sure that was right. If there's a whole raft of different techniques, that suggests that there's still room for improvement, that the real, right, best technique hasn't been identified yet. There are dozens of different weight loss procedures, a mind-boggling array, and not all are equally successful, both in terms of how much weight you initially lose and whether or not it stays off. Bariatric surgery is by no means a magic bullet, but Dr. Rutledge's procedure posts good numbers, an average loss of 80% excess body weight, and almost all patients don't regain what they've lost. The mini gastric bypass is a relatively simple surgery, taking on average of about 30 to 40 minutes, uh, usually requires only one day in the hospital, and has minimal pain, rapid return to work, and it's simple enough such that it can easily be revised. We divide the stomach and make it about 90% smaller. We take the small bowel and we bypass about six feet. By decreasing that upper length, fat absorption and calorie absorption are decreased. So now we have less food that can be eaten and we have less that's absorbed and that leads to the weight loss. Walking into the hospital, it's hard for me to fathom that within a year, I could be 175 pounds again. Right now, Gil's a person with heart disease, with diabetes, with significant risks. He's having to take blood thinner to protect himself from clots. A month from now, he's likely not to be a diabetic anymore. He's likely not to have heart disease. He's likely to be active and to have lost 30 pounds already. And our hope is that he'll get more than 140 pound weight loss by the end of next year. All right, start time is now. A normal sized stomach is roughly the size of a red pepper. We create a new stomach the size of a magic marker. We make a total of five pores. We'll put four by fours on these so they don't make a mess. Dr. Rutledge puts a miniature camera through those ports, then performs the entire operation by viewing his work on a TV monitor. This is the staple gun as we begin to create the new, small, narrow stomach. There are tiny titanium staples about the size of a sesame seed. There's the beginning of the pouch being created on the left-hand part of the screen. 